James was feeling sorry for himself. I'm getting old, he grumbled. I can't get about like I used to. It's all right for you younger engines, but my wheels are getting stiff. Henry and Gordon, along with Edward, had been on the Fat Controller's railway longer than James, but they didn't say so. But at last, Henry grew tired of James's complaints. Poor old Groner, he said. It's no use you just sitting there moaning. Why don't you tell the Fat Controller that you're past it? But James didn't like that idea at all. Not all old engines were preserved, so he had heard. Some, they said, were sold for scrap. James shuddered at the thought, so he decided not to take a chance on it. The night goods leaves the big station at midnight. Usually one of the Fat Controller's diesels pulls it. But Derek was away, and Boca was being mended. So James had to take it instead. It was a cold, frosty night, and he grumbled like anything. All this extra shunting, he snorted indignantly. Two days later, an inspector came to the shed. People who live near the yards have been complaining, he said. They say there's a sort of uh, groaning noise which keeps them awake at night. I don't remember hearing anything, said James's driver. Uh, we were there until midnight. That's right, agreed the inspector. That's when they say it stopped. It's probably only James with his moaning and groaning about the extra shunting, suggested Henry. Oh, shut up, Henry, retorted James. If you had to shunt at night in the freezing cold, you'd moan and groan louder than anybody. That night, as the snow fell, James's driver and fireman listened carefully. It is you, James, they said at last. Your brake blocks aren't holding your wheels properly, and when they rub against each other, they make a groaning sound. The fat controller acted at once. I cannot have complaints about my railway, he ordered. Tell Donald and Douglas to take it in turns on the night goods until the diesels return. James must have his brakes seen to at once. We don't want a repeat of what happened on his first day here now, do we? James was pleased not to have to pull the night train. But his nickname of Old Groaner stuck for several weeks afterward. He even began to feel that it might have been better to do the shunting after all. <laughs> <laughs>